It's time to play with the game shell. Wicked! Assemble! Welcome to the Wicked Gamer Ring Collector. Welcome back to a new video. And in today's video, we are going to take a close look at this Clockwork Game Shell re Redefined Portable Game Console. This is more like, yeah, let's say a fun package where you can build your own portable system, but no soldering you require. It's more like a little bit of Lego. Yeah, we need to click it, we need to cut it, and we're going to have some fun. So what's inside this little box? A lot of boards that you need to cut out and we are going to have some fun. Ooh, very nice manual. A lot of boxes. Ooh, a lot of boxes. Many boxes, many goodies. Alright. So, a lot of boxes. And uh, I think it's time for. Let's see what's inside the boxes and build this thing. The first thing that we're going to need to do is very simple. We need to unpack everything and let's see what we're going to get. I really love how they um, yeah, how they pack it up in this little, well, I must say quality boxes. All right. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do we have here? Ah, we have the LCD screen. And what do we have more? Green board or something? It even have this old school. Ah, yeah, the controls. Oh, obvious. All right, here we have the. Oh, here, yeah, this is the main board I need, or I think it's the main board. Next box. All right. What do we have here? Ooh. All those packages, all those packages. Ooh. Cables. Lithium battery. Huh, this looks like the this looks like this Nokia battery that they are using a lot. Ah, all the extra buttons. Ooh. It's going to be one very crazy unboxing. Ah, here we have more parts that we need to cut out. Rup. Right, the buttons. Ah, here we have the buttons, the D-pad. More stuff. Do, 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 do. Ah, here we have a shell. Doesn't it have shell? No more. No more stuff in it. What do we have in the last box? I think we have more shell because we need the other side. Alright, let's see what we have here. Dun, 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 dun. Ah! Alright, these are all the parts we are going to get with this kit. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is get ourselves a little knife, or I'm using this little tool, to get all of our loose parts. Alright, let's start. So a little fun fact, if you look at these two backplates, um, this is more like an extra option. You can swap them out. If you just want to have a four button, you can put these together. Then you have just four buttons to play the games. And if you have want to have more buttons, then you're going to swap out to this one, put them together. And here we're going to put this attachment, these buttons here. So. It's a little bit strange way, but nevertheless, just wanted to point it out. Oh, my God. 
And again, we are going to cut these loose because these are the other parts we're needing. Uh, the casings for the main board, the screen, etc. It's going to end this way as much as possible. Yeah. Okay, I need to gently fold it this way. Don't touch the screen, otherwise I'm going to have a filthy screen. And nobody likes a filthy screen. Put it down together. Very gent. Go away. No! There was filth on my screen! Oh. Hey, where did it go? Always on the inside. It's still there. Go away. So the first part we have here is the screen. The next part, they all go the same. Just basically click the two shells together. Okay, I'm going to try it again on camera. Put the one in. Gentle. Alright. Like this. And we can close it. Alright, this one is for the main board. So let's grab ourselves the main board. Very high quality protection bags. That is one thing to be sure about. Uh, let's see, and now we're going to slide in the main board. Let's see what we have here. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Good to put it this way. Because we need to look at the holes. So I'm guessing if we're pulling it together still need to put it in the connector or something like this all right but this is the idea behind it so you have all these modules and the next part it's time for the buttons and this is a very interesting part and the reason why i'm saying this is because before i was reading on the manual um i was thinking okay how can we let's put it this way i am more like a guy who don't want to read the manual and does want to figure it out for myself just to make it extra challenging Yes, so if I'm going to buy a new closet from Ikea, I am just going to try to put it together. And of course, always figuring out I forgot something, but that's not the point. The point is, um, all right, how do we going to assemble this? This is a very strange way. Again, it's two parts, so we're going to click it together this way. Whoa, this one went very easy. 
that's the first one um let's put it the right position um no that, that, that is this right yeah it is hmm. all right nevertheless let's put them in the right position mm -hmm. now we're going to need the rubbery part on it the membranes all right yes. yes so the weird thing is by the way you need to put the buttons on it when it's closed so hmm, i didn't know what that was needed all right let's put it um and there's the x button and now it's all right oh that's strange it's up lying on here so it's more like okay Oh yeah, there's a new way. See, this is the problem. I didn't cut it out very good, so now it's not closing. So it is a great example. Be very gentle, cut it out very good, and otherwise you're going to have a problem. hearing the little plastics shooting everywhere all right oh it's so much joy trying to film for you guys yay all right the first thing we're going to do is not be serious all right the pcp board is in place just easy as that Ooh, when Garnier Leviosa. Mm. This is going to be very magical. Going to be very magical. We're going to put the battery here on. And now we have connected it. Like we put some people in the matrix. Yes. And it's closed. I was thinking. Where is the little case? It's over here because I forgot to put it out. <laughs> So, did I miss out something else? Yoo -hoo. No, that was the last part. So, this one is for the speakers, uh, if I'm correct. So what I think is pretty ingenious with this speaker, um, there's no soldering needed. There are no speakers on the PCB board, but they are separate in this little compartment. So what we're going to do is What we're going to do is try to get them out. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like this. Let's see, I noticed something of a protection on it. I read the manual this time. All right. The same goes for the other one. put them together but that yeah that's what I wanted to see and hear I think they are in the right position all right the same goes for this one I think we can close now no it's not closed not closed now it's closed and here we have the speakers and again <laughs> We have another. So what I understand from the manual, at the left side, left side here, we're going to put in the cable for the keyboard or the buttons. And at the right side here, we're going to put the one for the battery. So, 
And also a very important thing, put in the SD card. If you're fitting them here in the casing itself, there is no way of swapping them. So we have this same problem like the Resby Boy. So for the final conclusion about building this little game shell. And overall, I think it's a really cool idea. Building it together, you need to have some patience and yeah, having the right tool will help. And yeah, putting it together, sometimes um, you will notice that you forgot a little thing or a little plastic residue and you're going to have a big problem. So yeah, I really love this idea. Next video, we are going to check it out and I'm going to explain you what you can do with the system. For now, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell and see you next time.